Do you hate using PowerShell as much as I do? Stay tuned if you want to know how you can edit your room resource accounts without the need of using PowerShell. Hey everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Mo Mondays. In this week's episode, I am going to show you how you can edit your room resource account without the need of moving into PowerShell, which everybody knows I absolutely hate. This week's episode is going to be a nice short one. Uh, should be a nice easy one. So let me dive straight into the Teams Rooms Pro Management Portal. Okay, first thing that you need to do, of course, is head over to the uh, Pro Management Portal. Um, the URL is https portal.rooms.microsoft.com. Sign in with your admin credentials. And then you should be given this screen across here. I've spoken about it before. On the home screen, it tells you all the latest information. Uh, and you can even join the open office hours from Microsoft where you'll get the Pro Management team talk you through um, all the new features, roadmap items, you know, any issues, any concerns that you have, those are the guys that will absolutely help you out every Wednesday from nine till 10 Pacific time. Anyway, we're not going to move into that. We are going to be talking about the um, uh, room resource accounts. Um, so read really easy, really straightforward. Um, on the left hand side where you've got your hamburger menu, um, if you scroll down to where it says planning, expand on planning and you'll notice there is an option called resource accounts now a lot of people actually miss this right most people will go into rooms and try finding it that way but actually if you go to planning and you hit that resource accounts it will effectively show you all the resource accounts that are sitting on the tenant now key thing to know it does not show you every single user account right it's only showing resource accounts so providing you've got resource accounts set up that will be shown in here. If you are after user accounts, then you wouldn't be using this pro management portal. You then head over to the 365 um, uh, admin center and then you uh, access them from over there. The idea around this is instead of you having to use like two different web pages or two different portals, you're able to actually access your um, your resource accounts directly from the same page that you use to manage your devices with. Um, now, in order to create a room resource account, of course, you can use the GUI, but the best way is always to use um, the um, uh, PowerShell. Um, I absolutely hate PowerShell, as everybody knows, but it is the quickest and the best way to do it in order to set it up correctly. Once you have a resource account set up, it then shows up uh, on this portal and it will then show up on this part of it. And it's pretty straightforward. You can see across here, it gives you a bunch of options. If you don't know how to create a room resource account or you need to, there's a learn more button across here. You simply go ahead and tap that. It'll open up uh, uh, the learn.microsoft.com web pages and it will give you all the instructions on how you would go ahead and create that. Uh, maybe one day, if I've got the guts, I will create a room resource account. In fact, what I might do is I might invite one of my Microsoft co-parts um, and uh, get them to join me on a Mo Mondays. If you want to see that happen, make sure you comment down below and that will force those guys to join me on a Mo Mondays and show you how to create a resource account via PowerShell. Anyhow, with the resource accounts, uh, of course, it's going to show you all the resource accounts you have across here. And all you simply do is you go ahead and select one. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and select my home office, which is the MTROW. Uh, it opens up that sub menu that pops in from the right hand side, uh, and it will give you literally the information that's needed for that resource account. All the other fluff, you won't see that. It'll only show you the things that are relevant for an MTR for a room resource account. Now, the first thing that you'll notice across the top is it says status and needs um, action. Um, where you've got the exclamation mark, you literally just have a look through the page and you'll find the exclamation mark. So if you hover over it, it'll say, hey, look, setting password never expires is a requirement for shared Microsoft Teams devices. Um, so it's, it's known. Uh, and if you don't, I'm going to tell you now. Um, you should always set the password never expires option when creating a resource account for Teams Rooms because um, what you don't want to do in a shared um, kind of space is have people going in there and finding a device logged out because it's it's you know um, the password's expired or, or or whatever and people don't get to see the password um, anyway so it's a you know it's it it makes perfect sense for you to go in there and turn off um, the setting password never expires uh, option so you'll see mine is on uh, of of course we want to turn it off now unfortunately in order to turn this part off you do need to do need to use um, PowerShell. Um, however, if we scroll further down, you'll see we've got a whole bunch of mailbox settings as well. Now, the mailbox settings you can actually edit across here, so you can you know kind of turn things on and off. Um, and literally, right now it looks like it's all grayed out and locked, and that's a, a, a safety feature if you want to call it that. You need to hit the edit button. 
As soon as you hit edit, it will then open up everything and it gives you the ability to go in and change different things. Now, <clears throat> if you're not very sure about kind of PowerShell commands like me, um, the good thing is Microsoft actually add the little information um, um, icon on there. If you hover over the information icon, it will tell you what that particular thing does. So in this one where it says add organizer to subject, it determines if the meeting organizer's name is added in front of the subject or not. Our recommendation is to have it disabled. So Microsoft will actually tell you what the recommendations are as well across here, which is a really, really good thing. Remember, the pro management portal was originally designed to be more of a hands off experience where the AI capabilities will be able to identify issues and try and implement fixes with very minimal human re um, uh, interaction required. Same principle applies um, to the resource accounts as well. Um, so you'll see across here, it'll give you kind of the recommendations, whether you want to delete subjects, the delete comments um, bit as well. Again, it's telling you if you're using one touch join or if you're using direct guest join, um, it should be disabled to avoid un un inter uninterrupted service across here. Um, process external meeting messages, add additional responses, etc. And you can actually add the additional response as well. So uh, what the additional response will do is when somebody goes to select a room it will, uh, and, and book it out, it'll actually ping you across and say, hey, this is a Teams uh, or Microsoft Teams rooms meeting room as an example. Um, one good thing is, if you're like me and you're new to it and you're kind of unsure about what to do, Microsoft do actually have an apply recommended button. So if you don't want to kill anything or break anything, just hit that apply recommended button and it will apply what Microsoft's recommended settings are for this. And then you can go in and change different things if you really wanted to uh, as well. Um, of course, if we go across to the top, you'll see OTP is there as well. So OTP is that one time passcode that we spoke about on a previous session. Session. Um, so if you wanted to kind of have the, uh, OTP set up for this particular account, you can go ahead and, and click on generate OTP on the previous page that will allow you to do that. And it will also tell you which licenses are assigned as well. So whether it's a basic license or a pro license, or maybe not, not any license, it will give you the options across here. So again, it's a good snapshot for you to be able to see what that room resource account is doing. And if you want to change any of the settings, you have the ability to actually change the settings directly from this web page as well, without the need of you having to move back into a uh, kind of PowerShell. Rule of thumb is when you're commissioning a room or you're deploying Teams rooms, um, as part of that deployment, you'll actually use PowerShell and you'll bulk create those room resource accounts. And then you have the ability to use the pro management portal for you to then go in and change different things across there. Uh, I'll show you, I mean, this one here is a MTR on Windows. If I go to MTR on Android, exactly the same thing that you'll see pop up. It shows me there's a needs action. I need to go into PowerShell to actually change that part. But if I hit the edit button, the same options will show up. The same OTP ability then pops up as well. And again, the, the license um, um, uh, uh, is shown across here as well. Um, so there you have it, guys. Nice and easy, nice and simple, really easy way for you to go in and just change little options. There's many times where you'll deploy Teams rooms um, and you've got 10, maybe 15, maybe 20 rooms deployed. And then after a couple of weeks, you'll get that request come through from your employees. Um, and they'll say, hey, we want to have direct guest join switched on, or we want to be able to see what the subject is during a meeting on the panel that sits on the outside of the room, or maybe on the um, touch console that's in the middle of the table. Uh, it's very it's very easy for you to then just go in, change it um, from, from this portal, at the same time, have a look at the room, see if there's any incidents, uh, see if there's any updates that need pushing out, and you're straight back out. So one portal to kind of do it all. Um, my offer stands as well. If you want to learn about how to create a room resource account in PowerShell, please do comment down below. That's the only way I'm going to get the, uh, the Microsoft guys to really join me across here. And Michelle, I'm pointing at you. Um, comment down below. We'll get Michelle to join me on one of the um, uh, uh, future Mo Mondays, and we'll actually create a room resource account using PowerShell and the reasoning behind it as well. With that in mind, guys, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Or no doubt, I shall see you on the next Mo Mondays. Ciao.